Hey, what's up guys? Let's uh, use some inserts. So inserts are these two guys right here. And uh, I have the routing open because you can basically route them into a lot of things. We can have them post filter, uh, wait, post filter, pre filter. Uh, we can have them after the filters are summed. We can have them in the feedback circuit, which is pretty cool. So I'm going to have this right here uh, for now coming out of oscillator one. And I have my super saw, well not super saw, but my neato saw wave. And I'm going to be going through them. So the first one, and it's the most useless to me, it's a simple delay. Uh, it's not clocked, um, but what it is, is it just kind of uh, copies the sound and delays it. It's simple one note delay and it does stuff and you can also if you want you can add an LFO to, to modulate it to get some weird sounds there's that uh, yeah there's that delay uh, now we have sample and hold which is pretty cool and what it does is it you have a here I'll show you on a sign so you have a simple sign here what we can do is we can add little steps the little steps you see those little steps there right so it's kind of like a like a like a uh, resolution downgrader down sampling I should say so we take a sine wave and we broke it like Atari style You can get some really cool sounds with that sample and hold. Always awesome. Uh, bit crush. It, uh, down down grades the bit uh, depth or the the bit rate, I should say. And it still adds little steps, but it adds a lot of upper harmonics. And that's cool. You could have that before the filter, and then have some feedback and get some neat results. Like, look at all the upper harmonics there. Isn't that fantastic? I'm a big fan of upper harmonics. Uh, frequency shifter. This basically ups the frequency. It's pretty good at it because it's a sine wave, but if you have something that's a little bit more complex. Mix them in, you get a weird kind of FME result. And uh, that's all well and good. Uh, simple low pass and high pass. With our high pass here. You know, just uh, as a filter before the filter. Maybe, maybe you're into that. Uh, sign shaper. This one's pretty cool. <laughs> So what this does is it adds a sign. Okay, we have a sign already, but if we add a sign to this. We keep on adding signs to it, which is weird. You know, I've never heard that sound before. That's our sign, a shaper. It basically, it's a type of distortion synthesis. It's pretty cool. Parabolic shaper. Okay, so what this does is it 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 evens out the, the shape. So what you're going to see is really cool. We're going to see uh, a sine wave being changed into a square wave. More or less. That, uh, it just sharpens everything. Um, and it could have a very neat effect on certain sounds. That's parabolic shaper and the hard clipper. It just clips things to all hell. So it still changes the sign to a saw, but it does it through clipping. Right. So yeah, it's just all different ways to shape your sound. So you know, if we wanted to have something really gritty, even before it goes in the filter like directly out of the oscillator. It's another way to shape the oscillator. That's why these inserts are so awesome-o. And uh, yeah, those are your inserts, and I hope you learned something. We'll be back.